वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू माई चैनल रेडमूज विद डॉक्टर पुष्पेंदु रक्षे आई होप यू आर वॉचिंग दीडियोज शेयरिंग लाइकिंग एंड सब्सक्राइबिंग इट टू अदर्स विद अदर्स नाउ इन दिस वी बेसिकली लर्न अबाउट वी टॉक अबाउट वी सी अबाउट डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट विच आर गोइंग ऑन इन करेंट सिचुएशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइबर अवेयरनेस साइबर लिटरेसी एंड साइबर सिक्योरिटी and currently we are going with the series where we are talking about different types of cyber crimes which are taking place and today we will be discussing about one more interesting topic that is web jacking now as you can see we know both the words when we talk about web we know about we are talking about world wide web having a service of internet second we talk about jacking and that also we know about hijack so yes i am very much correct it's hijack that means when our web site is getting hijacked by an unauthorized person by an unknown entity then i call it as web jack or web jacking so friends let's start and understand what actually it is it is quite shocking to know the word hijack as we see in terms of aeroplanes or we see in terms of uh, somebody is hijacked and uh, kept under the custody and uh, here we uh, basically see about or we play the games in that also we come to know about the word the motive is usually as in the general hijack what we generally see that is to generate money or asking for some ransom or just because somebody is interested to damage the reputation of the website or the business and also it can be sometimes for money to monetary as well as for political purpose if there is some kind of personal grudge some kind of personal enmity some sort of you know different union then this all problems can happen the your website can also be cloned cloning here means that somebody can also create a fake website like yours by making some changes and knowingly or unknowingly customers can who are not quite conscious about getting into the website may get into a wrong website and may also land up doing some financial transaction which may also further enhance financial cracks sometimes you may be getting also a uh, you know malicious link with the help of that link if you are clicking the link then you may be getting into a wrong uh, website or you may be getting an unauthenticated uh, website or a fake website so you need to be very careful about these links and they are called as link baits and it is a way by which you can be getting into you know becoming a victim of cyber fraud so you are supposed to be keeping yourself safe from such cyber fraudulent by not clicking on these unknown links which you receive either through any devices or gadgets actual owner of the website loses control once your website is hijacked your server is hijacked then you are having no more control on any such you know on your system ideally the password remains the secret with the administrator only that is the thing that we have and some or the other way hacker holds its control on the username and password and then pretends as the hacker is an administrator the imposter person is an administrator you start losing your control slowly gradually computers or servers do not recognize people they only understand the username and password and that is the biggest problem because you may not be having a security that is in terms of face recognition so in this case we can see that if there is no such facility of having a face recognition then only username password is a security way and that can be dangerous if it is hacked common methods is known as like cracking software which is generally used for cracking the passwords in most of the types of this webjack attacks further password cracking is also having two different types one is dictionary attack where we will be able to see that software will attempt all the words contained in the predefined dictionary of words and for example they will try with all a b c d or different different names that a person or an organization can have customers can have other is called as brute force attack where software tries to guess the password by trying out all possible combinations of numbers all possible permutation and combination is basically done during this process numbers symbols letters till the correct password is found and uh, it may take time but once it is successful then it is a very uh, bad hit to the website of the organization and once website is in 
trouble or question then there is also a chance that the customer loses faith on the website and on the business because security glitches are happening how to be safe from web jacking and attack methods first of all you do not enter sensitive data in any link sent to you check your urls universal resource locator you have to keep uniform resource locator you have to keep checking it all the time https yes https is hypertext transfer protocol security secured that's what you have to look for http is generally an unsecured one just because of address looks okay don't assume that everything is legitimate have a verification before visiting any website or making any financial transaction read company name carefully whether it is right or wrong whether somebody is trying to copy and create a fake account and as we have in the earlier videos we have discussed about fake accounts that you can refer the video check that there is a http protocol or https and it should not be only http if you are not secure site is real or if you are not secure sure that whether the site is real or fake then you need to you can have a wrong username and password and you can enter so you need to be cautious that you are not entering your correct things correct data into it have a proper verification then only proceed for it use a browser with anticipate anti phishing detection anti viruses browsers that you have to look into two examples i will be going ahead first is recently the site of mit ministers of information technology in india was hacked by pakistani hacker and some obscene matter were placed there him which is again a big trouble that everybody has to keep a proper check second further the site of bombay crime branch was also under the web jack so what generally we see that uh, so most of the time we are having the uh, websites of government defense education healthcare system they are under attack most of the time and uh, cyber even the general of course customers i would not say uh, commercial part uh, or the businesses they are not hampered by this but other crucial data most of the time is available with this countries governments secure department so that's what uh, people try to or the hackers try to explore into it so i hope this video on web jack has web jacking web hijacking will be helpful to you and thanks a lot for watching the video keep liking sharing and subscribing and also do not forget to hit the bell bell icon and keep spreading uh, the channel to everyone thanks a lot keep watching us